Hi and welcome to WebsiteRemote.com where you can manage all your WordPress sites from one single dashboard. That means that you'll be able to monitor your versions of WordPress and your plugins as well as update WordPress and those plugins no matter how many WordPress sites you have. Now in order to remotely control WordPress sites using Website Remote, it's a two-step process. You have to first tell Website Remote the URL, the web address of the WordPress site you want to remote control. And then once you tell it that URL, you will have to grab the Website Remote plugin and install it on that remote site. So let me show you. I want to remotely control the site robertplank.com. So I'm going to type in robertplank.com click on add your first site and once that's done I will install the website remote plugin on that site and I will be able to control it from this dashboard robertplank.com add your first site and now maybe you've added one of your own sites and now here's what's happened is now it's listed robertplank.com as my only site but uh oh there's a, a red warning message I can click on that and it tells me that the website remote plugin is not installed we're only halfway there we need to download the plugin right here and then install that plugin on the site so we can go to download plugin right click save link as and I'll just save it to my desktop. Now I've saved the website remote plug into my desktop. Then I can left click on install and this will open up robertplank.com and I might have to log into the site and I'll click on upload plugin and I'll choose file and then browse for the website remote plugin I just downloaded to my desktop click on open and click on install now. Now, in my case, it's going to ask me for some FTP details. With you, it might just install right away. Then I activate the plugin. And once I've activated the plugin, I can go and find Website Remote, click on Settings. And what it will tell me is that this site should now respond to commands from Website Remote. Click on Login to Website Remote now. And once this is done synchronizing, we can see now that robertplank.com is still listed, but that red icon is now gone and we have some new icons. And so let me explain a couple of things that are in front of us right now. Uh, we can see that we have the one website and that robertplank.com is running an old version of WordPress, version 4.0, and the latest version is version 4.3.1. We can see that robertplank.com has three out of date plugins and we can just click on whichever one we want to update, if not all of them, if not update WordPress and all of the plugins. If we ever wanted to log back in to robertplank.com and we didn't have the password handy, we can just click on the login link and this will always one click log us back into the dashboard of this particular site. Okay, so you can always find the site you want to log into and click on login or even go to the websites sidebar and choose robertplank.com or the website you want to log into and you will always be able to log back into that site even if you don't have the username and password for that. So that's how to log back into the site. Now let's look at some of the details of these remote sites. We can click on the select link and this will show us uh, the site and the software that's running and the list of different plugins and we'll be, we can update these individually here as well. Okay, so that's how we view the the real quick details about that site. Okay, and now we can see that we have these icons next to the site. We can see that there are WordPress updates for the site and there are plugin updates for the site. So clicking on the WordPress icon takes us to the websites area. Okay, or takes us to the updates area. And so we can go and see that there's a new a new WordPress or new plugins. Okay, and we can go back to here and we can see that um, there is the the plugin updates right there and we can see the plugins and as you can imagine if you had 10 different websites with 20 different plugins you can see a whole table of which versions of each plugins that you can uh, view and what you can update. So I can say in robertplank.com I want to update just the add signature plugin so I'll just check the box I want in robertplank.com and I'll update the add signature plugin update selected plugins and confirm and give that a second and let's see if that works or not. 
uh -oh, looks like updating that plugin failed. Now, why is that? Well, once again, we have a helpful icon here. We can click on this and it says the site robertplank.com is set to ask for your FTP username and password every time you update it. Now, your site may or may not have this issue, but if it does, what we can do is click on the site settings for this particular site and we can submit the FTP login details. And what this will do is this will store the FTP username and password on your WordPress site. We do not host it, but it will store this on your WordPress site. So every time you want to run an update, you don't have to type it in every single time. So I can say I'm going to enter in my details and I will paste in the special password and I will enter in the FTP information. So now it has saved the website information and when I go back to the uh, the dashboard here or I go back to the websites and I want to update one of these plugins I can update the add signature plugin on robertplank.com click on confirm let this run and if all goes well the plugin should now has been successfully updated and now we only have two out of date plugins when it comes to robertplank.com we can click on this all plugins and see a list of everything we have on here and most of the plugins are up to date or just check out our outdated plugins okay so this is the most helpful screen when you're looking at the out of date plugins and this will list all the out of date plugins on all the sites that you eventually add to website remote you can click on the websites tab here and list information about the themes of each of your sites the uh like the number of plugins that need updating the wordpress versions and you can update those and so there are basically four ways to look at the same information you can go to your dashboard and select individual sites in your dashboard like that and pop out the different plugins. You can go to the updates screen and you can see the updated versions for WordPress for your plugins, either for all of your sites or you can select just one site such as robertplank.com. We can click on the websites tab and see a list of all of the websites you have that in use in website remote and see once again the WordPress version and the plugins. And we can drill down into the plugins for just one site or for all of our site and view just the outdated plugins or view all the plugins so we can even compare once we have multiple sites here we can compare the versions of different plugins or we can see if one particular plugin is in use on some sites and not others so that's website remote now the trick to getting a site added to website remote is to enter the URL first, click add new site, and then the site will show an error saying that the plugin is not installed. And then you'll have a link to download the plugin and then to install the plugin by logging into the particular site and going to plugins, add new upload. And then once you've done that, then this will be all in the clear and you will be able to accept remote commands through this screen. And you'll be able to say, well, I want to update all my plugins in one click across all my sites, or I want to update all of WordPress in one click across all my sites. But the trick first is to add the URL to the screen and then install the website remote plugin that we provide to you. And then you'll be able to view all your sites, view all your updates, view your website updates, or view just your plugin updates. And that's website remote where you can manage all your WordPress sites from one dashboard. Now, if any information seems out of date, you can click on this check for updates button at any time and it will take a few seconds and it will pull down and it will ping all your different sites and give you the most up to date information possible from uh, whether the site can connect, whether the WordPress versions are out of date or whether the plugins are out of date. And if you happen to have the issue where your site keeps prompting you to enter the login details, you can click on settings and then go to where it says submit 
new FTP information and type in your details in this box here and this will store on your website, not on our website, but on your website, the login so that you can always one-click update your WordPress and plugins on all of your sites all at once. So that's Website Remote and thank you.